what i experienced wasn't what i was expecting nobody told me that until i went into the journey and what i was seeing was not funny at all <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here are a few things you should know if you're switching from organic to inorganic or you're switching from bleaching cream to a more safer cream. Skincare routine. And this video is me based on my personal experience. I switched from organic to inorganic. I actually switched from inorganic to organic, from organic to inorganic. And no one told me what I was going to experience. It was after I experienced it, I was looking for solutions that I started hearing things. So I felt like creating a content like this one should in case you're switching from organic to inorganic so that you do not experience what i went through one thing is you should already know your skin color i started noticing that my face is actually darker than my skin color and i went to it i wouldn't say that person is a skincare expert or guru the person is just someone that does organic cream i didn't know what was organic and inorganic when i told her she gave me something to be using on my face at the end of the day my face was yellow my body was dark so these were like the mistakes i went through one of my friends recommended this product for me i got it i just used it for like two weeks i noticed a very bad stretch mark that i'm battling with now that has refused to go that i've even gone for laser and it became worse so i decided to discard it i discarded it and the straight mark stopped expanding why i'm telling you this is if you're using any skincare you should be very careful about it before you use any skincare if you do not understand or you're not so sure it is very good that you meet a skincare therapist or a dermatologist that will understand your skin better and will be able to help you to choose the right cream or lotion so that it will have a safer ingredient and not destroy your skin so you can be using an organic but you're not using a safe one i switched to organic because i noticed that my face was so black and i had a lot of black spots on my face which normally i do not have and i don't even have oily skin the next thing i switched to organic then the organic i got started making me so beautiful that i continued but with time, I noticed that I was developing dark knuckle again. My skin was becoming lighter. I am someone that really appreciates my skin color. I love my melanin skin. I do not like bleaching. I'm not a fair person because me making myself fair will not make me to start going extra mile to maintain it. And that's not what I want. Remembering experience I had in the past, I had to go to a skincare therapist to recommend skincare products for me based on my skin type and they recommended and then i switched from organic to inorganic i didn't know that after switching to inorganic that my skin will be so dark i know that i'm not a fair person but for my skin to be so dark i wasn't expecting that and they will tell you be patient i used for like two months i was patient because i made an inquiry and i realized that it's because i changed from organic to inorganic that your skin will not be as beautiful just expect it to diminish but one thing is just be patient with it it will come back and then i was more patient and at the end of the day i realized that my skin got better it didn't go back to being so fair the way it used to be but one thing I've realized is that it is even much more better. So one thing is if whilst you're battling with skincare issues, it is always good to involve a skincare therapist, skincare guru, or a dermatologist that knows about skincare more than you do. They will help you recommend a good product. The gist I wanted you to get out of this video is you're switching from organic to inorganic. Just have it in mind that your skin will not be as beautiful or as good or as bright as it used to be. All those organic products you're using, most of them contain harmful skincare stuff like steroid, hydroquinone. They call it organic, but at the end of the day, everything is not necessarily organic. If they are bold enough, they know that they are sure that it is pure organic or natural. They should write the ingredients on it. What you should do if you want to patronize them, it is always very good to 
make inquiry ask them what ingredients do you have in your product because funny enough your skin might be reacting to one or two of those so you should know what is inside to know if it's something that is good for your skin or not one thing is especially inorganic is that you should be patient with it they don't contain harmful chemicals that are harmful to your skin one thing is that you're feeding your skin with a good food that in future you will see it blend when you're using organic it works so fast on that one week you will see results and you'll be enjoying it but one thing is that you're causing harm to your skin and in future when you start getting old you might even see that you've been destroying your skin do not be afraid if you're switching from organic to inorganic i just want you to be expecting it that your skin will not be so good but look at the way to avert it do not go out under the sun even if you apply spf because no matter the SPF I apply, it's still affected. You stay indoors more and allow your skin to marinate under a good weather than exposing it under the sun. And even when you are home, try to apply SPF. Protect your skin so that sun will not affect it that much. The thing is, you're a dark person and then you have this melanin secretion. So when you are using organic, it is a strong ingredient that it contains that is suppressing the melanin production. You use this skincare and give it time. Finish it and then review it yourself and see the ones you need to change. Any changes you're making, make sure that you're doing it with the help of a specialist. But because me, I went so dark. It was not funny. I hope you find my video helpful and you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed. I'm going to see you next time in my next video. Bye.